So let's let's go give a brief overview of the outline. <coughs> we have A, B, and C. Uh, I hope we can clear in one hour A and B. Letter C is very long. And I've also solicited uh, 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 the co some contribution of uh, the author of this uh, channel, <laughs> they've gone, uh, to contribute in, uh, in Solomon's Demons. Okay. So, on letter C, I think that, yeah, they, it, they, uh, they, he should put it in the first part of letter C. So, letter A is about possession. Letter B is about affliction. Letter C is the greatest demonology of them all. Deception. As many people do not realize that. Okay, so... Uh, by the way, anyone here in the room is free to ask questions related to the outline. So, Brother Francis, uh, do uh, you mean uh, the most uh, advanced de demonology is uh, the deception... Uh, you, uh, the devil used the deception using doctrine or attitude or uh, uh, something like that or uh, the master key doctrine it's the attitude so in the time of Burbenham he cited the religious realm the enticing spirits but he was not able to detail the Berean spirit although he, he talked about the Be the the actions of a Berean. He didn't use the word Berean. In different uh, statements in other sermons. But with regards here in the monology, he was not able to emphasize or point out that's the highest form of the... But if you re read the word religious realm, enticing spirits, you're, you're different from the one who is possessed or, or are afflicted with uh, disease, as Don Moen pray, uh, sang. That is what most people in the world can see, and they are decoys to the deception. A and B are decoys to letter C. Decoy because people will see that demonology on the other aspect, but that's just a shallow aspect. For others, they, the, that's the heaviest for them. Majority do not regard deception as a form of demonology. Majority, no? Because majority of people are concerned or over on this life. They're not concerned about afterlife or the future or prophecy. They're mostly concerned about their livelihood or their sickness or their relationships. Earthly things, mostly. Okay, so... Uh, this is a continuation of Brother Branham's uh, message about demonology. Because if you cannot go to detail, you, you might be one that is uh, deceived or demonized. <laughs> Many do not realize they're demonized. Be because they don't, uh, they don't appear to be wild or crazy. They appear sane. They look decent. They're even charitable. Okay? So later we're going to talk about Nicolaitan and lukewarm spirit. Uh, which many do not realize. Many do not notice. Okay, so let's go to our first part of our outline. Could you read the first part of our outline? The first line. Letter A, possession. What is the first line? Yeah. Uh, for those who have picture, get ready. Yeah? Okay. What is the first line? Shapeshifters metamorphosis. Now, this, uh, this basic form of under possession, there are people today who are given supernatural powers, but they turn into demons. Okay. What are shapeshifters? They change their appearance. Is that that's the English word, okay? In Tagalog word, there are many different words. Have you 
gotten a picture of the Wendigo and uh, a werewolf, they call it lichens, okay? Uh, in Tagalog uh, lore, we have the Manananggal, Capre, Aswang, Sigbin, or whatever. Uh, may, do, yeah, okay. Question, question, question. question. So how how they how did the devil do that? Uh, did he he created uh, he cre uh, is he a creator uh, also? Or he can create a being uh, like like uh, becomes uh, another being from from that person. Before, I did not believe that. Long time ago, when I was a first-time end-time believer. My own opinion, those uh, the devil cannot do that. I doubted that. Uh, I read the book of Rebecca Brown. If Sister Remy can show the book of Rebecca Brown. I even heard the story of... In, in Kogyo, I heard the story from Pastor Roland about Emmanuel Amos and any Amos. And I... I fantasies then i realized uh that's rebecca brown oh he came to set the captives free uh i would recommend you read that book but he has he has many other books but you you read like a novel but there, that's a true story uh, he her life story about being a witch and battling with other witches with supernatural powers how you watch uh, other films that they battle each other. <laughs> That's the book of Rebecca Brown. And I read that a long time ago when I was still young in Binondo. Uh, I was still a young believer in the end time message. Um, and I, I secretly in my heart, uh, I, I laughed at it. I mocked at that uh, book. Uh, the, what I read, no? It... So I have some doubts. So, like, you know, Halis Bible Handbook, when he said, Melchizedek uh, was shame, I mocked him. <laughs> the same thing I mocked Emmanuel. Emmanuel Amos, any Amos, I heard it from Pastor Roland already when in Kogeo, 1998. But Rebecca Brown, I read that book early, much earlier, okay? Maybe 1996. Uh, led to me by Sister Gina, uh, wife of Brother Edwin. The brother, brother William. So, uh, so I, I will not uh, detail all my <laughs> my changes in beliefs. No, when we broadcasted, let's fast forward to the time when we broadcasted about the Watchers, prehistoric uh, realm, okay, and the angels, the prehistoric Lucifer, about Lilith. I realized. They've been doing that long time ago. And it, it's not against the Bible. Can If humans can change the DNA of a person through chimera experiments. Chimera is you're making a monster out of splicing DNA. The devil can do that also. If man can do that, why not the devil? So I changed my outlook. The, all those... Uh, uh, demonic you know, transformations are possible and are real. And uh, Lilith is one example. She was transformed. Okay, that's why Lilith is now uh, uh, translated as a screeching owl. <laughs> that is Aswang, actually. That those, that's a, a demonic figure, actually. So, uh, let's go to Genesis 6. Uh, is it possible that Aside from intermarrying with the line of Cain and the line of Seth, is it possible that angels will affect the humankind to the point that uh, they can change their DNA? They can because it happened to Adam. It happened to... So in the line of Adam, they had death. So there is a change in their DNA. There is death hanging over their heads. Uh, and it just got worse and worse. In Genesis 6, 6, there is supernatural power being transferred to, uh, to the people. Okay, question. How about uh, Cain? Cain had a mark 
it, it, he he changed he changed from the so Cain is much uh, worse. Yeah. So first Cain was uh, following the instruction, but when he he became conscious, he decided to do his own way, and God was waiting for him. Imagine this, ah, uh, God was waiting for him to repent. So God gives them chance, much like the angels God gave them chance before. Um, when God did not spare the angels, doesn't mean he doesn't want to forgive them. It means they their hearts were hardened. That's the spoken word hidden mystery about the angels. Okay? So, with regards to Cain, it's the, very much the same thing. Very much the same thing with our Nicolaitan ministers today. They have a chance, but they just refuse. They just refuse to uh, to change, to submit, to repent. No? Repentance we're talking about is very repentance, which is the change of attitude. Uh, palo, uh, but but it's palo, 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 palo. Okay. Get back uh, to our no. outline last week, Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, King, 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 uh, uh, it's it's different to to the demon possessed person and uh, King. Uh, the, uh, when the demon possessed that the, the person, he changed his. Uh, the, it became different. Uh, like his face, his strength, or the, the strength of that person, he, he, he or she become stronger. Or did, did the, the devil can create something into something, another, another being? Yes, uh, the devil can metamorphose. That's the word here, oh, shape sisters, metamorphosis. The devil can metamorphose uh, an individual and the very the evidence we have is if people can do that example simple steroids you can transform your body in your environment you can change your DNA okay so uh, the devil can do that so uh Part of possession, there are people today who are given supernatural powers. So witchcraft, sorcery, that's part of that. But possession is not just witchcraft or sorcery. There's an aspect of possession wherein you do not control yourself. So Sister Remy may click the picture of progressive ministry. Uh, that is an example of, we have movies that talks about the exorcist, okay? Yeah. So you Malibu may family. rotate pictures other, of that. Okay, question, question. Uh, other people do not believe uh, uh, those who like... Okay, like uh, no, no, no. Uh, the supernatural uh, power, people, power. Aswang, balang, manananggal. They do not believe on... Supernatural that. beings, cryptids. Maybe you can search cryptids, uh, Beverly Joy. Cryptids, uh... uh uh, that's the only word I, I, I can remember. They have many words for that. Eh? Those paranormal beings. Those supernatural beings. So, uh, many people do not believe. But Christians are 50-50. No? Some Christ like me, when I was a beginner Christian, in the end time message, I didn't believe that also. But later, I realized Biblically, it is true. Uh, there are, uh, of course, Christians will just interpret that, that as a fallen angels. But is it possible that they can influence people to have power? The, if the Bible can mention a witch, a sorcerer, then that includes their power. If a person can be given that power, can the person metamorphose? Yes, he can. Yes, he can. Of vampires, of course. Um, the first vampires that we know is Lilith. Okay, she's uh, she was not originally like that, but she metamorphosed when she uh, went away from God's presence and uh, went her way. She, as we say, fornicated with the devil. So 
that's not just in the mind. It could also be also in the body. Are there men before Adam? Yes, there are prehistoric men before Adam. And they may very well be those he fornicated with. That's why you find the uh, sculptures of the goddess of fertility uh, before before Adam, uh, before the time of Adam. Okay, so if they existed, th th those were the times of the fallen angels. Okay, the fall of Lucifer is not here, but anyway, we need to move on. So please show pictures about possession. Do you have several pictures of possession? They don't have any picture of possession. Possession is, example, the picture of Lin, is that Linda Blair, <laughs> uh, the movie The Exorcist. Uh, was that taken for the movie The Exorcist? There are many movies about exorcism. I hope you can Beverly Stabler. The, the Bible has that, you no, know? the Gadarene demon. So, or rotate pictures about exorcism. Uh, that you do not change into a monster, but your body, there's a change like the, the, the one you see in the picture, no? Is that Linda Blair? So, uh, exorcism, I'm sorry, sorry, uh, demonic possession is in the Bible. So, one example is the Gadarene demon. Uh, a person possessed in Gadara. Christ, okay, thank you for the picture. This is the only time you can show that, so rotate all of them right now. Uh, that's demonology. That's demonology that the Catholic Church, even denominations, no, okay. So, uh, demonology uh, from Catholic Church, they have exorcisms. To the Protestant Pentecostals, they have exorcisms. And Brother Branham's ministry also involves that exorcism. So, there was a time a person was uh, demon possessed and he wanted to break up the services. Of Brother Branham. He broke up many other services, uh, church services. So the deacons were about to. Con I, I should have asked for that picture, but maybe <laughs> there's no picture. We ask AI, no? The time of Brother Branham, the, the deacons wanted to uh, uh, hold on to the demon possessed person, but Brother Branham motioned them to let him go. And when he was about to beat Brother Branham up, he could not approach him. Uh, he was near him already. But he could not he could not beat him up. Then Brother Branham just proclaimed the name of Jesus Christ to let uh, to let him go. So whatever your denomination beliefs, even if you're not Christian, there are exorcisms. Are, are, um, does that mean they're of God? Exorcism can temporarily be of God, but you are not. You may not be in the truth. Being in the truth goes much deeper, a much deeper demonology. Uh, let's talk about the the Gadarin demon, Sister Remy. Do you have your baboy video ready? A uh, swine pig. <laughs> The, uh, please, could you play that video I sent in the messenger? Or show pictures of the... No, not just one picture. So, let's tell the story about the Gadarene demon. Um, uh, we have picture. No click. F, uh, the Hollywood people. No, no, no. The, I sent you a... Oh, no. The video. That's what earlier. Maybe you didn't notice that. Oh. Uh, since Monday, you know. Uh, a actually that's an AI generated video about the the pigs, no God, the gathering demon. So maybe you can still search for it right now in YouTube. Uh about Jesus Christ, AI generated. He freed uh, the person. If not, just uh, use the picture of Beverly. So 
I mentioned that several times already. So if you didn't prepare, you can still search YouTube right now, no? The Gathering Demon. So while you, you don't have the video yet, uh, rot uh, rotate other pictures of Gathering Demon. Um, oh, Sister Beverly, look for other pictures because you're both the same, okay? So close, Sister Ami. This is Hindu uh, Prana or... And close uh, the Hoshi Manina. Okay, so let's talk about the, gather, the Gathering Demon. So, Sister Beverly, maybe let, look for YouTube of uh, the Gathering Demon because uh, the vi video I sent uh, was not noticed. So, let's talk about the Gathering Demon. So, Christ went to Gadara. Uh, the person who was demon possessed was already well known, and the person that was uh, possessed. Why did the question? demon ask Jesus for the uh, pics? This is a question. Uh, Hoshimani, don't uh, the, uh, Never just mute the sound, Mister Hoshimani. Can mute the sound. So play that video. Uh, I'm muting the sound. Um. Okay, so the story of that, so Christ went over to Gadara uh, because the person was well known. The person, uh, this is your question, eh? the, pers the person became su uh, supernaturally powerful in strength, huh? in strength. He can break the chains. So uh, we have some lessons here in the spirit realm. The demon... Recog the demons recognized Christ and he said it's not yet our time <laughs> not yet our time and they requested Christ uh, could you transfer us to the pigs instead so Christ allowed it so in the spirit realm later we're gonna read in letter what letter is that letter C uh, Daniel Daniel 9 10 11 uh, about the demon battles. So, uh, Sister Remy, just click the video in the OBS for the series. No? Uh, so, um, so they transferred to the pigs and the, all the pigs went to the water to drown. Okay, I had some typology and I heard in YouTube we have similar understanding uh do, uh do you wish anyone can can anyone give a type and shadow of uh the demons transferring to the pigs or we can say a lot of things like in the spirit realm they recognize jesus christ the son of god and he has supernatural power that uh, that question was already answered there but let's talk about the demons transferring to the pigs do you have any type and shadow for that, Brother Menat? Additional type and shadow. So, you, you mean the, uh, the, the devil uh, go to the, the swine? Yes, yes. Do you, do you have a type for that? What Do you have a, a spoken word revelation about that? Uh, I don't have. <laughs> I okay. don't have it. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, Sister Remy or Sister Beverly, look for the picture about the. So it's like this. Uh, the the demons will naturally go to an unclean animal. the The swine is considered as an unclean animal. What did Christ say about the swine? Don't throw your pearls to the swine. Or they will just trample trample it underfoot. Who are the swine who couldn't appreciate pearls? The pearls of great price, they represent God's revelation. The most important part in our spirituality. But swine people do not recognize that yet. So before we were, we were considered unclean. 
we uh, we as Gentile nations aside from Israel are considered swine. That's the type in the vision in uh, of Peter. He saw God lowering down or angels lowering down a sheet full of unclean animals. God said, uh, slay and eat. Kat kumatay, kat kumain. So, what, does do, what do those represent? They represent Gentile people. Do not call unclean what I have made clean. So, God can make it clean. So, that means say, not just predestinated uh, unbelievers, huh? not just predate, predestinated antichrists. Even predestinated children can be considered swine until they become clean. Okay, okay who, who is this? Uh, Sister Yed? Yes. Uh, may Could I you come nearer to the mic? Your your voice is very faint. Uh, may I Just give my take the click, uh, Sister Amy. Okay, question. Huh? Stay in. Need to fix the microphone. Uh, no, this, uh, this is a question that. Hello, hello, hello. I would, I would like to just give my insight. Okay, thank you. Uh, please give your insight. Like, uh, come closer to the mic. Speak louder. Okay. Uh, when we cast down yeah. demons, we have to command them to go back to Hades, like what Jesus did when he uh, commanded the demons to be transferred to the swine because they are animals and don't recognize God. Yes. But there's an example in the Bible, Skiva, the Skiva brothers. They were not yet powerful. They were not yet fully anointed. So they they could not do that. <laughs> and the demons even mold them, beat them up. So uh, we can do that if we have anointing, supernatural anointing. But that, that supernatural anointing does not save you, huh? It's different from being Berean. So, so they, others got it from fasting and prayer. So there are Pentecostal people. Those Brother Branham recognizes they have power. They're anointed by God. But that kind of anointing is only for physical healing, physical casting out of devils. Matthew chapter 7, Have we not cast out devils in thy name? Have we not done wonderful works in thy name? And that's very deceptive. If you're that powerful, uh, people will look up to you. Okay, question, Barmenan. Were you trying to say something, Barmenan? No, no, no. Not okay, me. okay. Well, I, mi I misunderstood the voice. Okay, so uh, so I hope you can rotate the pictures, no? Mr. Remy, but if there's a video, just stick to that video. But that video is not live. I have a comment uh, first. Comment, comment. Okay. Uh, according to the Seventh Day Adventist, that the, the swine or pig are dirty. Uh, that's the reason why God God did did not want uh, us to eat that that kind of. Uh, uh, they say th that the swine or the pig are not. It's forbidden uh, food. Forbidden, They're forbidden food. food. Yeah. Yes. So. Uh, when, when did God said that the, those uh, animals are not food? Uh, before before Christ uh, uh, um, do that, oh, before before the devil goes to the pig. So maybe uh, maybe uh, the type is uh, the the uh, the Lord. Do not want to to eat that that, that kind of animals because it is uh, forbidden. Well, let me explain so, that. Uh, I have a video forbidden foods long time ago, but I think we're gonna broadcast it again. No? Uh, if you can watch my old, very old, old video, shot from Russell Nokia, uh, forbidden foods. If you remember that, okay. I still, I think you can still search that. I said the literal food is just a type to the spiritual food. The important thing is the spiritual food, not the literal food. Where is like virginity? 
uh, physical virginity is good, but the most important thing for God is spiritual virginity. It's our spiritual virginity that will be the basis for our to be the bride of Christ. The same thing with the food. There is a literal food, physical food, and there is a uh, spiritual food. The physical literal food for the Israelites is a type to the spiritual food. And I had a debate with Camacho. And this is the style of the SDA. They will say broma. Broma is Greek for food. So I, he said, uh, uh, only broma are considered food. So the Jews have broma because, of course, the New Testament Bible is written in Greek. So, but uh, the swine is not broma. And I asked him, the Greeks eat swine, right? Do they, don't they use the word Broma for swine? So he realized this mistake. He that doesn't want to talk about it. <laughs> in, in our debate, huh? he doesn't want to pursue it. So that's one way of uh, refuting him. Refuting. Ano. Okay, so let's uh, finish the swine. The, the type of the swine is unclean. Uh, Sister Ami, look for the picture of the clean house, no? the house so continue in the video of the swine so the type of the swine is being not very young being nicolaitan or lukewarm you can be a predestinated seed but before your conversion before becoming very uh very uh, believer repentant believer you were still nicolaitan and lukewarm you can still be a swine because you will trample underfoot the pearls. It, it don't have to be a filthy, greasy person. You can be a very decent pastor minister. But when someone is sharing to you a progressive truth, you don't want to check it out in the Bible. It happens from Catholic Church, INC, ADD, ACQ, all, all denominations until the end time message. In the end time message, are there people uh, uh, don't want to be Berean. Yes, majority don't want to be Berean. They want to don't, don't want to check out if what you're saying is true. If it's undeniable, they will even ignore it because because it did not come from their own missionary. It did not come from their own own organization or hierarchy. Or some would say it did not come from Brother Branham, Bar Jackson, or Bergan. But a true believer no longer are babies. So they are able to discern what is right and wrong. Whoever is claiming a truth that you still don't know, every true believer will humble down himself, take note of what others are saying, and check it out if in the scriptures whether those things were so. So if you're not yet doing that, don't be hurt from what I'm going to say. You're a swine. <laughs> because you will trample underfoot the pearls. And I can use example our own brethren, the, our local church. So there are families, parents who are not yet uh, worried in your on our warning that this is emergency. The training the family is emergency. If you don't consider it emergency, you're trampling underfoot the pearls. The pearls are not just uh, head knowledge of deep revelations. The pearls include the urgent instructions that you have to be sober enough to carefully implement in your family much like there's a covid you need a vaccine much like he is sick he needs a uh, soup or whatever a good picture of beverly uh, switch the picture to that just let me the pearls to the swine okay so and you're dem you're demonized you don't know that Okay, of course, we're talking about the uh, the gathering demon, and that's the type. That's the type. Uh, let's go to switch to the the house that is clean. Is that part of my outline? So, Sister Progressive Ministry, maybe change, but go back to my outline. Did, did, I, put, did I put in my outline the house, clean house? So, what verse is that clean house? Matthew 17. 
Oh. You, you, that's a literal clean house. Okay. Uh, there's a picture about uh, what Christ said that after a demon is cast out from a person, the demons go to dry places. That's why the demons ask to be transferred to the pigs because if not, they will be ano, drawn back to hell. Okay? To bottomless pit. So look for the picture of the, the clean house. Okay? Uh, Christ said, there, uh, please look for the verse for that, Sister Ami. After a demon is cast out, the person uh, is still is sober and sane. He's still all right. And the devil, and when he comes back to that house, he sees the house empty, but clean, no? garnished. That's what he said. And he will repossess that person. And when he repossesses, let me like, check at the outline if I have that. No, I didn't put it here, no? Okay, the clean house is not in my outline, but we need a picture for that. So, uh, look, please Google, anyone Google, no? Maybe Mr. Beverly, Google the, the clean house. Uh, search for the verse first. Then use the verse to Google for the picture. This picture is not, uh, no, of progressive is not very, you know. But anyway... Uh, I can ex uh, please click the picture on this uh, no, progressive ministry. The picture about the clean house is like this. If you cast away a devil, it's like you're correcting your child defensively. When you correct your child defensively, you, you smote him with your chastising rod. He temporarily, temporarily, uh, he might uh, be sober. He might be obedient. But if you don't give him anything to do offensively, this is what I call offensive run. No? He will again revert back to his old ways. So this is an example of the clean house. A person whose devil has been cast out, you need to give him training to, be, to grow, similar to our children, similar to our members of our church. Otherwise, they will be possessed again. And Christ said, the end result of that person is much worse than, much worse than he was before. Have you searched for the verse? Is it Matthew 17? <laughs> uh, when he, then, where Dennis told me the verse, but I forgot the verse. Eh? So please use your cell phones, Googles, uh, searches. What verse talks about uh, Christ narrating about the the person with a clean house. Clean house means it's empty. There is not the, the Holy Spirit is not there. You have to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Uh, let let me digress a little bit about our family training. And this is very important, no? You must not leave your child idle. That is equivalent to a clean house. Eventually someone will squat there, a spirit will squat there. And you don't notice it. What kind of spirit? Worldly things. Uh, they, they will be addicted to the worldly things. We're going to talk about that in deception. But this is also a possession. But the person don't realize it. Sometimes, sometimes even the parents don't reco reco real recognize it. Um, brother, what Question? are you trying to help us? What are you please, trying to please tell Please search for the no, clean house. Google it. Uh, verse okay. of the clean house. Yes, yes. So, uh, ah, I put it in deception pala, no? I put it in letter C, clean house repossessed by demons. Well, that, that's what I'm talking about right now. Our children, if you did, don't give them training, eventually they will find other things. And that is much worse. Eventually, it, it will be much worse. Did you know there's a type in our sickness today, since affliction is part of there? Uh, in our bodies, Joven Platilia asked me about this. Eh? What did you say? You mean to say we have good viruses in our body? <laughs> we have good viruses, we have good bacteria in our body. They should occupy our gut, our bloodstream, 
our eyes, our every part of our body, even our skin. If these good bacteria and good viruses occupy our bodies, we will be healthy and they will help fight off the bad bacteria and bad viruses. That's very, that is scientific uh, typology, no? To what Christ is saying about the clean house. If you cast out the devil, you must give him something to do. So I told Sister Remy, don't, don't, don't just be content that your child is at home, she doesn't go out. She needs friends. But what kind of friends? Christian friends. That's the simple solution. Or uh, why our, our young people will, should not uh, be, you know, sidetracked. They, they, need, they, need, uh, they need friends to guide them, at least in the mundane things of Christian life. If they don't have any Christian friends that share the word of God with them, they will become corrupt. That is the revelation about our ministry on PTA, no? Family training. And that one typology of that is the clean house. Although the clean house can apply to possession, after the devil is cast out, so he, he or she can be repossessed again. But more so in the family. So uh, you need the Holy Ghost. You need the Word of God. You need to involve them in the ministry. Okay? Because we are called, train up a child in the way that they should go. And when they are old, uh, they will not depart from it. It's almost 7.30. Okay, let's go to letter B. Well, could you read letter B, Brother Menad? Question first. A oh, question, question. What is the difference between the gathering demon that uh, Jesus uh, cast out to Mary Magdalene uh, seventh demon? Or seven demon inside of her. Uh, Mary Magdalene did, uh, was not possessed, oh, and and uh, she did not uh, change his face. Is is is? Uh, she looks. She looks she normal. Looks, uh, normal. Yes. So what is the difference uh, between the, the two? Uh, this is our topic. <laughs> there is. A demonology of possession, affliction, and deception. So if you if you do not appear to be possessed, although the word possess, I, I want to generalize it. Eh? The word possess can apply to affliction and deception. Mostly on deception. You don't know no, you're possessed. But brother, I think Papa means about the demon is that yeah. does that demons that had been mentioned or casted out are they the same, like the seven demons and the uh, gathering demons? They're all not because the same. The simple not answer is they're not the same. And that is what we are. Re we should realize. This is our outline. Do not think demon possession are only... Uh, sorry, sorry. Demonology is only about possession or healing from afflictions. Demonology has... Majority of it is in the deception side. The possession side... It's just a decoy for the whole world to be complacent, to feel they are in Satan's Eden if they don't have that kind of problem. Or the prosperity <laughs> gospel or what? So you, you mean, uh, even if we are Christian, we we have, uh, uh, we, we are in, in the church. We are going to the church every Sunday, having prayer, um, fellowship and yet we are demon possessed so the the shortcut answer since you asked about that is in letter c go down to nicolaitanism oh she lost her outline <laughs> what is that joanna part please go uh, rever uh please revert back to the outline in letter c in the latter parts of the outline there is this Nicolaitanism and lukewarmness. Actually, in letter B, in letter B, Brother Francis, um, we uh, sometimes supernaturally healed. 
even Brother Branham uh, uh, healing uh, healing ministry <laughs> many are are healed uh, yes Brother Branham uh, also uh, taught uh, that he taught that uh, every sickness there's a demon in, in letter B in our outline in the affliction uh, so Mary Magdalene was healed of, of the yes, yes. Yes, demon. and when you your your question about her seven demons, she she doesn't appear to be crazy or wild, but she still she still has a demon. That goes to show even us. Let's talk about us being Christians in our flesh. The 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 DNA of the serpent seed, serpent nature. That's where the demons operate. We wrestle with our flesh. We wrestle not flesh and blood of other people, but re we wrestle with our flesh. Romans chapter 7 verse 23. Paul wrestled with his flesh. That means to say, there is a demon in our flesh. There is a demon in part of our spirit. There is uh, what Barabram called the black dog and the white dog. Barab Claro calls it an enigma. So we have two sides, or yin and yang, no? We have two sides of the coin, and we're not yet purified, we're not yet cleansed. But if you have the spirit, if you have the token, you have the earnest of the spirit, your berean, you can overcome. You can overcome. Okay. So that what, part, what? That, that is part of the the deception side of the demonology. Yes, yes. If you don't have deeper revelation, you don't recognize you have a demon. And outwardly, you appear so holy, so religious, so, so, no, so decent, no? So even, even though people. those who, those pastor, uh, those pastor who are exorcised, those, those who the demon, uh, demon possess are, are also possess. In the deception if, level, if, in the, if, 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 are, pastor will like call religious demon spirit. So they, religious if, demon if, spirit. If they are uh, not Berean, uh, they uh, they can judge easily. They can actually those those pastors, even the, the denominations and and end time. If if your doctrine are different to them, they do do not want to talk to you. Even they 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 uh, uh, they are uh, angry with you. Precisely, that's the immature spirit. That's the Nicolaitan spirit. That is demon possessed. That's demonology. And demonology is not just on the, uh, what I call ubiquitous halata, ubiquitous, obvious. It's also in the sublime. Sublime means it, it's not very apparent. It's not, you can, cannot easily detect it. Unless you had, you know, have an understanding about Berean repentance. You cannot see that demon spirit in a uh, sane looking person, a decent looking person, even a minister. He could, he could be uh, used by God on the smaller scale. But on a deeper scale, he cannot be used to God. He might discourage others from being Berean. Brother Francis, you, I, I, Brother Branham uh, calls them the anointed ones. Still, they're the anointed ones. Okay. Comment. Uh, I, I, I have a friend uh, before, uh, Port, Port Watch, Pentecostal, uh, Pentecostal Trinitarian. Before, they, they, they have fellowship with us. And after that, they, they, they realize that we are uh, different uh, doctrine from them. Later on, they, they never uh, the fellowship. Uh, have fellowship uh, to us. They get angry, and and sometimes they they never uh, what do you call that? Uh, hindi ka nila babatiin kahit sa kalsada daanan pag nakita ka. In they will not greet you Godspeed as yeah. by, uh, they're they're following the supposedly the instruction of, of how do you explain because, how do you explain uh, peter said uh, i think paul said in the in, in his epistle uh, if if you are different doctrine from from what they teach do not uh, come to the to their house 
Uh, do not, do not, uh, make, they, make, make a little bit. from second John. So, so w- maybe we can they, make another they, they broadcast. No? That. Yes, 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 they misunderstood that. Maybe we can make another broadcast. Scriptures that are being misused for Nicolaitanism. Remember, I have a topic about that long time ago. Yes, yes. But it, uh, it's not recorded, I think. <laughs> I just I, preached I think it. That's, that's better after this this topic. <laughs> next next week. I'm going to put it in a vote because there are lots of topics online. Yes, I, we, we're going to put at that uh, option, okay? You still have to vote on that. So, um, so let me just mention that. There are several scriptures misused for Nicolaitanism. One of that is do not greet them Godspeed. Okay? Um, others, uh, let them be accursed like that. There are legitimate verses that instruct you to avoid them. There are not legitimate verses that are misquoted, misinterpreted, okay, misrepresented. So uh, that will be for another broadcast. But we're talking about demonology. If uh, you are Nicolaitan or lukewarm, no matter how decent you look, no matter how how urbane your appearance is, uh, respectable, uh, if people don't realize that, other people can be uh, misled to become Nicolaitan and lukewarm also. Because... Uh, it is in the power of the minister to to train their members, their, their followers, their constituents, their disciples to become Berean. And God expects every minister to do that. So a minister that will not do that, they are suppressing the laity. And that's demonology, the highest form of demonology. Okay, we got ahead of ourselves. Uh, that's deception. Huh? Let's... Let's go through letter B first. Could you read the first two lines? I need a picture, uh, Sister Remy, about Job. Then about Revelation 9 demons. If you have the video on that. By the way, Revelation 9 demons should be in letter A, no? Because uh, there are demon possession in, in Revelation 9. But there is also affliction. Maybe I put it in letter B because of the affliction, no? So, Sister Remy, prepare the video of demons. But uh, could you read, Barmelan, the outline? Letter B. Could you read? Just for formalities. Hello. Sister Beverly Jezreel, could you help? Could you read for us? I want you to get used to this, but... uh, (laughs) If it's taking too long. Barmenan, are you still there? Or maybe he left his station. Yes. I, okay, letter... Oh, please read, please read. Letter B. Letter B. Permission to press a plick. Job. Well, this is the monology, no? Uh, Sister Remy, the, uh, what, of, uh, what about the picture of Job? My difference is... Uh, is that the monology? Because uh, uh, Satan... Just uh, ask I permission. Think, ask permission to God to 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 do something to to the family of Job to Job. So uh, Job becomes sick. He got uh, I think uh, what is that a kind of you uh, know? Uh, the picture of the ceremony of Job. So okay, is that a uh, revelation you know? technology? So if if the devil. Uh, get gets you sick. That is demonology. Yes. So, demon possession. And it's a very deep demonology. Eh? A deep revelation of demonology. I think In Brother uh, Branham's time, he said the sickness are caused by the devil. Of course, the book of Job confirms that. But there's something deeper here. Do you know what's deeper here? What, what what is the deeper? It's Actually, it's okay, God if you know. remember my ano, the, uh, permissive will and perfect will, in time and beyond time, that's they are reversed. 
Actually, my Francis, God used the, the sickness uh, uh, for for uh, for, for uh, people for good. Uh, they they get back to God. They they will pray to God. <laughs> they will go yes, to church for their restoration. God uses chastis uh oh, some some call it chastisement, some call it trials and hardships. But God uses all those afflictions for your restoration. It started from Adam. Now that's why Baranthe can say, oh, it's God who is causing all this pain. That's partly true. Because God uses pain for you to realize you have something, there's something wrong with you. For your humility. We, right now, we can evangelize using death. Because we grow old and pain and death. No one is guaranteed eternal life right now. With those who are not following God. Okay, Brother Simon. Um, what I'm talking about is that on the permission to oppress, afflict Job, like, why did God allow Satan to afflict Job? That's so, my question. Uh, I was answering that. I was answering that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but the reason is this. Could you come nearer to the mic? Could you come nearer, nearer to the mic? Can you hear me? Very faint, very faint. Come near to the faint. mic. Just Hello. shout louder. <laughs> shout, shout. Hello. Hello. Okay. I can hear much okay. more clearer now. Okay. okay. My question is, um, yeah, God permitted to, that Satan can afflict his job. Your sound is getting faint again. Why Hello. Hello. Can you hear me now? Okay, continue, continue while I can hear you. Why did God allow Satan to afflict Job? Like, how come, like, he was tempting this person, like Job? But if Job didn't overcome it, what will God do? Like, he he is uh, allowing Satan to afflict his job, but the job is that to to persecute that person. But if the person didn't overcome it, like, he, he will die, he will fall to temptation, what will God do? So it means that God caused everything so wrong. Like, He's tempting me but, that I can overcome but, it. No. So it's a test. It's a test, okay? God allowed it because it's a test. There are many reasons. There are many answers. But, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm going to go through it very fast. Okay. But One. I'm talking okay, about okay. Not, not like the test, but the test is like, your feet is on the ground is on the grave like you it it will cause death like that but uh the lord did not allow satan to take his life even if his life was taken it's still a test barbara was going went to hell when he re tried to ask god for another chance so the same thing here with Job. It doesn't matter if he's, he died. He, he wished he died. Eh? <laughs> he wished he was, God would you just take his life. Eh? But uh, God has a, a arrangement with the devil. Uh, do not take his life. But let's talk about why. Why would God do that? Job was an upright person. Huh? Why? So this is a hidden mystery. It's also demonology. Huh? It's not written in the Bible. But if you not understand patriarchal training, then you know Job did not train his children completely. Job spoiled his children. So if you read that story carefully in the first chapters, first few chapters, his children were worldly. His children did not make, make sacrifice like Job did. Job frequently made sacrifice to cover up for his children. Covering up, remember? Uh, Adam covering up for Eve. There, today, there are parents covering up for their children instead of chastising their children. So, uh, God allowing the devil to kill his children uh, gave him a lesson for us, for us. Not just for Job. For us. It's for our benefit. Uh, only the bride who has progressive revelation, who is Berean, can see this hidden mystery. Another part, even if you are not a sinner, why would God allow such uh, grievous uh, sickness to afflict you? 
What did Paul say? In 2 Corinthians 12, uh, God allowed Satan to give him a thorn in the flesh. For what? For humility. Because without that, sometimes our pride go, goes, up the, goes off the roof. And uh, we, 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 are no long, we no longer have a teachable spirit. So those are helps, those are guides, those are, are blessings actually. All things work together for good to them that love God. Even th those things that seem to be unpleasant on earth. Okay, question. Um, That's a deeper God, revelation of demonology. God allow uh, Satan uh, to afflict Job. Then uh, how, how, uh, what, uh, what if... What if Job did not uh, pass to that test? Okay. Uh, we can use as an example. Many people on earth will also experience tribulation. But those people who experience bad things on this life will have some comfort in the afterlife even, even though they're not saved. Their hardships in the lake of fire will not be that long, okay? Wouldn't you wish if you were, you were thrown in the lake of fire, you would suddenly disappear? <laughs> you, let's say you were thrown in the magma, no? in the lava, volcano magma. I don't think you are going to live for one minute. <laughs> You're not going to suffer too much, okay? Uh, what if your sentence is longer because you're judged out according to your works? You Your works is... Uh, no. So we have to, we we need to rush to the amnesty. What is the amnesty? Uh, God is offering amnesty through Jesus Christ. Take my yoke upon you. Okay, for my burden is easy, and my burden uh, my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. If you don't want to take advantage of this amnesty program, then you have to pay it for yourself. So how much holiness, how much uprightness in your life would that be? If you uh, suffered things in this life. It's like a uh, sentence served. It's a part of the sentence served. If you did, if you are suffering here in this life, it's it's your after, it helps your afterlife even if you're not saved. That's another topic. Huh? We're gonna talk about that in the future. I I think I talked about that, but the great white throne judgment, no? But maybe I can make another topic about uh, sufferings in this life or rewards in this life. You, you remember that track, Barman? It was not printed. Eh? We just drew it by hand. Remember, Berean and not Berean. Uh, rewards in this life and sufferings in this life or punishments in this life. You remember that track, Barman? So this is the topic here. Uh, the question of Brother Simon, what if he's not saved? Or your question, what if he's not saved? That's the answer. If you suffered certain things here in this life, it's good for your afterlife. It's good for your afterlife. Because there's not much sin you have done because of this affliction. Um, the deeper revelation about demonology is affliction is also used by God to bring us closer to Him. To make us realize, uh, to humble down, not to be proudful, not, not to be proud to the point that we, are, we don't have a teachable spirit. So the affliction starting from Adam. The, the affliction, the experience, even the death sentence hanging over our heads. Those are God's way. We can use that to evangelize. Those are God's way for us to get back to Him. Uh, what you said, be restored back to God. Religo. Okay, Bar, Bar Simon, question. My, Bar Simon. My question. Could you come nearer to uh, the mic? Could you fix your I'm mic? I'm trying to intend if... Okay. Okay, can you hear me now? Uh, uh, much clearer. The last word. Okay. Much clearer. Okay. What I'm intending is that, like Job, he was... He will die in that sore, okay? So, if he didn't overcame it, like, his uh, uh, physically, body, physic, um. Uh, he will die, okay? So, how about us? Like, God did it or pour it on us like the temptation it will cause is death. What will you do on the afterlife? Like, are you going to heaven or in the hell? 
because God, I, I think God will not do it right. He will not cause that. Okay, so he was only in, uh, he he, uh, he was only intending to do is um, temptation like criticism, persecution, not not like that, like Job, like he will die from that sore, whatever it it is, like diseases, like that. Uh, that's your own philosophy, but the Bible does allow, does give affliction for those who are advancing in spirituality. Okay? Paul himself testified that. So, starting from Adam, if you can understand the all, overall, overall plan of God, God used that. Okay? If afflictions are used by God, even Jesus Christ mentioned that, eh? For the glory of God, eh? Okay. Um, I, I have a question about that. Uh, how about the situation is like this? Like that person is weak from exertion. Like he can multitask like for physically and spiritually. Then God poured the temptation on him. The Bible already answered that. Uh, God will not give you, could you look for that verse, Berman? God will not give you a trial or temptation that you cannot overcome. Okay? Everything he throws at you, he knows you are able to do that. So very similar in resistance training, in physical therapy, etc. Uh, even Bar Enoch, when he tried to stretch my arm back, <laughs> my back, uh, he will stretch it to the point, to the extent that I could bear it. He will not go through and through until I breaks my arm, see? He will stretch it to the point. He will maximize the extent of that. The same thing God will do. Okay? So that is a short answer. That's uh, ver the verse, no? First Corinthians. Please click that, uh, Sister Amy. Uh, oh, the, the verse disappeared. <laughs> okay, uh, we don't have much time. Oh, that's First Corinthians chapter 10. Okay, let's move on because uh, we need to... There are many... Um... So the demonology about Job, there's a hidden mist there are lots of hid hidden mysteries there. You need a spoken word. When I say spoken word, it's not just Barbara, okay? You need God's revelation that ties in the scriptures with each other so that you can see the the hidden mystery unveiled to you. Okay, uh we need to move on to the other parts of the outline. Or oh, so Bar Simon, just read that, huh? 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. Okay, we are in... Um, let's go back to our outline. Uh, progressive ministry, could you change your picture to the outline? Oh, Joshua already has given the outline. Okay, uh, we have Revelation chapter 9, demons released. Uh, you, if there's already an outline, you don't have to duplicate that. But uh, can anyone show pictures? What is this demons released? Uh, we have our previous broadcast about Revelation 9 and many other related broadcasts. The trumpet judgments and Revelation series in Revelation. The demons being released. Do you have a video? Sister Remy, do you have a video of that? Uh, Ghostbusters. <laughs> you don't have that? Okay, or... I guess you didn't have the mommy or old Thomas. Or if you, what is this all about? Or Brother Jackson's uh, drawing. <laughs> In the middle of the week, the Revelation 9, he released all the locusts from the bottomless pit. I hope some of you would uh, look for that help out, okay? So what am I talking about here? Uh, uh, when in Revelation chapter 9, this is about, the, this is also demonology. These are spirits of demons. So there are many descriptions there. They have lo locust, uh, uh, human faces, hair of women, etc. Um, sting of the tails. Um, to cut the story short, we are in letter B affliction. They will afflict people. So that, uh, is that your picture about Revelation chapter 9? Okay. 
So from okay, that's another picture. They so don't have the video, no, of Ghostbusters. So uh, uh, the demons released from the bottomless pit. Uh, maybe eternity to eternity. Maybe someone show oh, shows that, Brother Joshua. In the middle of the week, but Brother Jackson has a good drawing. Eh? Uh, in the middle of the week, the locusts come out of the bottomless pit. Uh, not that, not that. Uh, it's the middle of the week, and in the middle of the week, the, the locusts come out. So, Sister Berna, Sister Remy has collected the pictures of in a folder in Sunday broadcast picture. You should be checking it out, okay? So, when... Uh, when I ask for Ghostbusters, I'm re referring to the movie where the demons came out of the bottomless pit. So I don't, I hate this picture because it's not just showing cute uh, demons. <laughs> okay, so I want the video of coming out of bottomless pit, not the not the poster of the Ghostbusters. So close that, please close that. Okay, here we are in the tribulation period, progressive ministry. Hoshimani, please close your non-video Ghostbusters. I will not accept it unless it's a video of the demons coming out. Latter part of the movie. Okay, thank you for closing it. Look at the middle of the week. The, please click Progressive Ministry. In the middle of the week, while Beverly and others have not looked, uh, found the Brother Jackson's contender drawing. No? The middle of the week, that's Revelation 9. And that's whoa, whoa, whoa. The first woe, the release of the demons from the bottomless pit. And that's also the fifth trumpet. So the fifth trumpet talks about releasing the demons. So since you don't have any illustration, what will they do? They will afflict the people on earth. Or unbelief. For being Nicolaitan lukewarm. Nicolaitan lukewarm means you're, you're biased. You're suppressed your, your privilege of being beren. No? Being beren is to be open to, transparent to the truth. You don't want to be transparent. So you're Nicolaitan. So you're afflicted in the middle of the week. So maybe you can look for Google. No? Google some pictures in Revelation 9. Demons tormenting a man for five months. Is it five months? Yes. The Bible says tormenting men, tormentation of five months. So search for that, Sister Beverly. A five months tormentation. Just Google it. Okay? Let's move on to our next part of the outline. We're already 8 o'clock. <laughs> uh, let's get back to our outline. Sister Remy, Joshua, outline. What other things that we fail to mention in uh, letter B? We'll just go over it very fast if we can summarize it. Sister Berna. Okay, thank you for the outline. So physical ailments from the fall, we mentioned that already. Supernatural healing. Or re remember this, every supernatural healing you receive, whether it's natural or supernatural, those are all temporary. The ultimate healing. Wow. I should have chosen the, the song, uh, Home Free. <laughs> the ultimate healing is to be home free. <laughs> The ultimate healing is resurrection, is rapture, is glorified body. <laughs> That's your ultimate healing. Uh, uh, so, uh, anyway, the outro song Inside Out is good for the deception side. The affliction is good for the home free uh, affliction side. Okay, let's go to the deception. Okay, but, uh, last part of letter B. In the sermons of Brother Branham, he said, every sickness has a demon. But if you go deeper in Revelation, God allowed those demons to give you sickness so that, so that you can come to God. Shortcut. Okay. Uh, who is this? Brother Simon? Oh, your voice is good right now. Huh? It's very clear. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's letter C. So we, we may play the video right now. If my auntie is available, he can talk about so. But we, we, we are running out of time. Eh? 
Okay, please show the video about deception. So, uh, Mr. Remy, click the part. And this is not landscape, no? Could you zoom that? You need the sound. You need the sound. Just let us go there. And we are asking you to let us go there so you don't have to worry about saving us anymore. So, if in fact that God was real, burn me! Because I'd rather be with the people, the real one. Take hell, for example. Deception. Deception for the whole world. This is Satan's Eden. Uh, you can replace progressive ministry for the video. Show only the video. And zoom it for landscape. Okay. Just let us go there and we are asking now, you as the more to let us go there so you don't now, have to worry about saving us anymore. Hell. So, if in fact that God was real, burn me! Because I'd rather be with the uh, people, uh, the real one! Take hell, for pillage. example, or even the existence of the here. devil. But Thieves, I'm going to talk about hell and lawyers. Jesus is the primary source of the existence of hell. He never joked about it. He instead took it very seriously when he warned us about that place that is so terrifying. The enemy has tons been and absorbed. tons of jokes have been made, however, over the years, which have torn down look cool. the seriousness you can see this of hell in and videos. others you can with see massive when you turn influence on the TV. seem you can to see imply this when you go that they are knowingly people going there. Just let us go there and we are at the Please let me go to hell. So this is a message. Let's get it. Oh, you already here. I'm so sorry. You can't get out. What happened? Okay. Over, That's the end of the video. And you didn't even know. Just even more, let us go there. And we are asking you to let us go there. Home, so thought, you don't have deep. to worry about saving us anymore. So, if in fact that God was real, burn me. Because I'd rather be with the people, the real one. Take hell, for example, or even the existence of the devil. But I'm going to talk about hell for now. Jesus, who is the primary source of the existence of hell, never joked about it. He instead took it very seriously and he warned us about that place that is so terrifying beyond words. Tons and tons of jokes have been made, however, over the years which have toned down the seriousness of hell and others with massive influence seem to imply that they are knowingly going there. Right now, obviously all y'all is going to hell right with me. So, let's get it. Oh, you already here. I'm so sorry. You can't get out. You're stuck. It's over. You heard the songs a million times and you didn't even know. Even more, there's this producer of this demonic show called, and I quote, Little Demon, who downplayed the character of Satan in a sudden interview. Yeah. Satan is like very, very, uh, usually uh, portrayed you know, in many, many ways. He's got many, many faces. And I feel like um, uh, a lot of times he's been maligned. I mean, he's really a nice guy. Deep down inside, he's really a good guy. The thing is, people try to trivialize these very real things, especially hell, through comedy and laughter, which sadly works to the point that the mention of it no longer arouses any fear or concern because in the minds of men, it is now a fairy tale. It's La La Land, mere myths that are fit for laughter and ridicule. And the entire time, the devil is laughing because he has gotten people to believe his lie. And the thing is, if one believes this lie, then he or she will not take the initiative to actually flee or make every attempt to avoid this place called hell at all costs. And if this is you, then I implore you, please wake up, wake up from that trap. This but sadly, our modern world under the influence of the enemy has reduced it to a mere joke. Picture that. Picture your grandmother in hell. <laughs> Baking pies without an oven. Do you see how you think you're going to get to heaven? No, I don't want to. You don't want to? No, hell's much better. <laughs> Look at the interesting people that you're going to meet down there. <laughs> Here is a real... Just let us go there and we are asking you to let us go there so you don't have to worry about saving us anymore. So, if in fact that God... Thank you for that video. Uh, okay, what is our... Please show the outline. Please show the outline. Well, there, we have many brethren in the church who are not uh, afraid of hell, who are not afraid of uh, the wrath of God. Okay? But Christ warns us about hell many times. 
he want uh, he talked more about hell than he talked about heaven okay so our, our topic is about demonology what is happening to the people today they don't believe in satan anymore they don't believe in hell anymore that's why they joke about it it's very fun to go there okay Bardenis question they promote the no? devil in life today. again again but you promote Manila. No, they, they are promoting that it's not serious. It's not something to be afraid of. Similar in our, no, our brethren who are not afraid. There's no training. There's no strictness in their training. They're only afraid if their children don't go to school or don't go to work. But they're not afraid if their children has no training that, or skips their training. The parents are not strict in the training. They're strict only on the earthly things. The same thing happening in the world today. The, in the world today, it's not important about afterlife. Uh, that that uh, fits in the uh, deist view that uh, Satan is a friend. <laughs> Satan, uh, there's a you know, uh, Tagalog uh, uh, soap opera, Dear Satan, is it Dear Satan? Oh. Uh, in, in abroad, there's another that uh, uh, made a soap opera, Li Little Demon, Little Demon. They're trivializing, they're trivializing hell. If you experience hardship on earth, then that is a foreboding uh, preview of hell. If we experience hardship on life, it doesn't mean we only focus on this life. God is pointing us that He is serious. He's warning us what uh, not to get there. But what is our topic? Demonology. Demonology today is deception. What deception? They're not. People are no longer afraid of hell. Leo, this is a church age. We have all our own opinions. As though your opinion will hold water, no? As though God will follow your opinion. What? After you die, there's this tunnel of light or whatever. There's no heaven or hell. So that's the that's the deception today. We're talking of unbelievers, secular people. Let's let's read the first line because we're running out of time. Can anyone read? Beverly, Dennis, Simon. First line. Let us see deception. Okay, so if we have a picture of Satan's Eden, uh, we're just gonna go through it very fast. We just we've already broadcasted it. If you don't have any affliction, just as I said in letter B, Satan's Eden, everything seems good to you. Uh, uh, thank you, Brother Joshua. Click the picture of Brother Joshua. Um, everything looks good. Everything looks uh no. Hoshimani, no? There's no black boundary. Okay, a toggle between the two. Oh, Eve, Adam and Eve was cut, uh, cast out of the garden. So they lost the pleasantness of the garden. Because the pleasantness of the garden, toggle back to the picture of Joshua, it becomes Satan's Eden. Satan is giving you pleasantness without God's word, without God's will. So if everything is good, let's say you have a good family, you have a good work, a good income, is that the perfect will of God in your life? Well, that's the deist view, no? Or oh, just be happy in this life. Uh, but that's, uh, I hope you can tell Brother Joel, Sister Nora, that's a short-sighted short view. This life is a preparation for the afterlife, for the eternity. Uh, what is that verse? Uh, 1 Corinthians 15 verse, I forgot that verse, 17 or 15 or what? If only in this life we have hope, we of all men, maybe verse 23, I just checked what, which verse is that. If you're only hoping for this life, you're in Satan's Eden, you're deceived. What is the analogy on this, um, this case? Deception. You're deceived. 
The devil didn't get you by possession or affliction. The devil got you by deception. Those possessions are just scarecrows. Scarecrows. As though demonology is only about possession. No. Demonology majority is about deception. Let's go to another deception. Could you read the next line, Sister Beverly? Ancient astronaut, Genesis 6, watchers. Okay, did you know, uh, change the picture, huh? Did you I know that people I have, today I have a question. Be, believe more the UFO and alien who, that created us. What is this movie, Progressive Ministry? Don't, you don't need to... This is not an... Is this Todd Thomas? <laughs> I, don't, uh, I have okay. a question. Okay, please ask your question. Uh, Sister Remy, that, this is not, uh, no longer the bottomless pit. <laughs> Please show the UFOs na. Sister Remy, while Brother Enok is asking his question. Look for the UFO alien pictures. Okay. Brother Enok, proceed. Okay. So, my question is, uh, in Book of Exodus and also in Book of Hebrews, uh, uh, the God uh, directly made uh, made Pharaoh uh, to be close-minded. So it, does it mean that uh, uh, God uh, purposely uh, commanded the demon to to possess Pharaoh? Pharaoh, Pharaoh. Oh, well. Uh, okay, uh, Hoshimani, Joshua, please look for UFO alien pictures because we're gonna run out of time if you're waiting, okay? Just do it now while I'm answering them. Just rotate. Um, when God hardened the heart of Pharaoh, it means God uh, did not immediately uh, chastise him. So that uh, Pharaoh thought that he can, he can challenge God. Much like today, uh, many of our young people are not afraid uh, to be lukewarm. But they don't know God is waiting for them to repent. God is long-suffering. Okay? So just rotate the pictures of the UFO. So that's the shortcut answer. Did God Nicolaitan them? No. Uh, the, the, the wording in the Bible that God hardened the heart of Pharaoh is God allowed the Pharaoh, uh, God did not chastise immediately Pharaoh. Okay? Okay, so let's uh, go to UFO alien deception. Sister Berna's picture is better, no? Because the picture here is admitted by others that it was a later addition. <laughs> okay. So just click the picture of Sister Berna. Uh, or maybe you can close your picture, Hoshimani. If, unless you have other pictures of UFO aliens. What is this deception? The deception of alien agenda, planet Earth, etc. People nowadays believe more on aliens Instead of God, who created us. They believe Anunnaki created us. That's partial truth. What, what is partial truth? The, de the demons can modify our bodies in the possession side, in letter A. But they are not the original creators of earth, universe, humankind. Humankind has the one that has the image of God. How do you know there is a humankind before Adam? Because Adam was commanded to replenish the earth. So the word replenish applies to there was a previous humankind. Okay? Now, what is the alien agenda? What, that, 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 what is the deception of the demons? The deception of the demons for you not to believe in the Bible anymore. You reinterpret the Bible along the lines of alien uh, agenda, alien beliefs. So a ancient alien uh, proponents even uses the Bible for their beliefs to convert people. 
So, rotate clicking this tree, no? Sister Remy. I'm gonna move on to the next part of the outline. It's very long, eh? Please read the next part of the outline, even if it's not shared screen. Bar Enoch, anyone? Ne next line of the outline. Don't be too slow because... Uh, okay, please read the next line. After ancient astronauts. Daniel 10, the moons of nation. Daniel 10, 11, or Daniel 9, 10, 11. Or if you have a picture of that, show the picture of that, okay? Previously, we had broadcast of that. Don't play, don't play the Thomas video. That, it, the, it, it's not showing the bottomless pit. Eh? Or the... No. no, I'm looking for a portal where the demons come out. Since it, if you don't have that, never mind. Okay, let's go to Daniel chapter 10. Please look for that picture. Can we combine Daniel 10 and Matthew 4? So, I hope Sister Remy continuously show the pictures in sequence here. Daniel chapter 10 and 11, this is demonology. Every government on earth is also demon-possessed. Did you know that? Now, many of you don't realize. God just allowed the governments on earth to be controlled by demons, but not thoroughly. Uh, what verses do you have that? Daniel chapter 4 verse 17. He ruleth from the heavens. So, I need a picture of Daniel chap uh, Daniel's uh, every nation has a demon. No? Every government has a demon. And in Daniel chapter 9, chapter 10, chapter 11, the demon prevented Gabriel from delivering the message to Daniel. So Daniel fasted an additional two weeks. So it, he fasted for almost three weeks. Because of the delay, why? Gabriel was withheld by the demon. And it took Gabriel to free Gabriel. So you don't have that picture? Uh, stop showing Ghostbusters, okay? So I need a picture of Daniel. Uh, maybe it's any one of you can Google, no? Daniel... Uh, uh, every government has a demon like that. Just type that, no? About long time ago, there is an album by Barmenan and Simon. Uh, if you've looked at that outline earlier, uh, they, they already looked for that picture. I asked for that picture before. So Daniel 9 chap and 10 and 11, maybe you can jump to 10, 11 because we have a, a very short time left. Uh, there's a battle between the angels. So what is that demonology all about? First, every government is controlled by a demon. And there are battles in the spirit realm. You don't see them. Our battles on earth is not on flesh and blood. Because we're not witches, we're not sorcerers. Can you still search for that, uh, anyone, in Google? Images. Uh, angels, Gabriel, Michael, battling with the demon of Persia. Oh, that Type that. Anyone, anyone, please type that. They were not able to prepare pictures. Mr. Yed was not able to prepare pictures of uh, that uh, demonic battle. Uh, that uh, so, but I have a question. The demonology about this is the government. Uh, we, we have lots of things to say, but our time is running short. Eh? And uh, our involvement is to do the will of God, like that, what Daniel did to mediate, to intercede. Okay, question, Brother Enoch. Please look for the picture or look at the outline and prepare the other pictures because we're running out of time. Okay, uh, Brother Enoch, proceed. Uh, okay, is, it, uh, Brother, uh, is it the battle of the angels using uh, literal sense? Now, the humankind battle themselves? So I'm curious. Yeah. Uh, yes, in the spirit realm. So in the spirit realm, they have literal battles, but uh, they're in a different plane of existence. And their battles sometimes 
create chaos on earth. Sometimes there's lightning, so, thundering, angels, earthquake. Uh, this question is, what happened to those angels that uh, was defeated? Is there the, the consciousness uh, uh, are un annihilated? In the lake of fire, but not right now. Right now, they can only be in prison. So that's what happened in their, after their battle. Even the last battle in Armageddon, uh, it's in Revelation 12, no? Michael and his, uh, the, de the devil and his angels uh, attacked heaven and they were thrown back down by Michael. And the uh, devil vented his anger on earth. Um, that is the monology. So what will happen on earth? There will be an effect on earth. But you don't necessarily see them like aliens. <laughs> the ancient alien believers will think it's a technological battle. Eh? Uh, it's a supernatural battle like sorcerers battling each other. Okay? Let's move on. Let's move on. Thank you for the pictures. I hope we can be very fast. Let's be quick. Let's go back to our outline. Uh, Sister Remy, I hope you can click each, uh, each of, of these four pictures. Okay? We are in the kingdoms of the world. Um, Matthew 4. The devil offered Jesus Christ the kingdoms of this world. Why? Does anyone have an answer? It's related also to Daniel 10. Eh? Why? Do you have an answer? Why? Why did the devil offer the kingdoms of this world? That goes for all the brethren we have that prioritizes special. <laughs> prioritizes uh, uh, just uh, frolicking. Not, they do not prioritize without training. Huh? Without training, they set aside training in favor of frolicking. And uh, this kingdom of the world that you are frolicking with is the kingdom of the devil. Continuation of Daniel ten: the devil owns all the 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 magnificent things you see. The, those are Satan's Eden. The beautiful building, the beautiful malls. You see many Christians. Doesn't matter it's end time or Catholic or denomination. They all frolic. But what is the balanced way of frolicking? Or enjoying the good things on earth. Even nature, bunduk or tanai. The, the balanced way is do, uh, do not be incomplete in the training. If you're incomplete in training or obscenely training, then you have to prioritize that first before enjoying. It's like your child is in ICU, is in hospital. You cannot go around and uh, frolicking while your child is there. You cannot bear it, okay? Your conscience could not bear it. Oh, that's the picture. Huh? Uh, the devil showed Christ all the kingdoms of the world because he owns that. He's the prince and power of the air. Let's move on to Judas. Could you read? anyone read for us, Judas? I hope so Judas what is the demonology about Judas it's a long story <laughs> but time is very short I'm going to say it very fast Judas was possessed by the devil but did you know that Judas did not intend for Christ to be crucified so he was deceived many Christians don't realize that no? the original plan of Judas was for Christ to usher in the kingdom of God on earth. That's why he returned the money when he found out that Christ was about to be executed, sentenced to die. His plan backfired. So his plan wasn't to kill Christ. His plan is a deception of the devil that he can help Christ usher in the kingdom. Why did Judas betray Christ? So that Christ can use his power and destroy the Romans. And there will be a rebellion, making him king. So Judas was possessed by the devil by deception. I have to tell this here. Uh, Brother Elevera, John Elevera, uh, um, contradicted me because of the traditional understanding. What traditional understanding? Judas meant Christ uh uh to be uh, to be 
uh, destroyed. But when I ask him, why did he return the money? Why did he commit suicide? <laughs> he said, uh, maybe he was conscience stricken because he was his friend. The right answer is, Judas was deceived by the devil that he can make Christ become king by forcing an encounter and engagement with the Romans by his betrayal. He was not after mainly the money. He was after for the kingdom. Much like the devil was offering, uh, click the picture of Sister Berna, Sister Remy. Much like the, ki the devil was offering the kingdoms of the world to Jesus Christ. The same thing, even the disciples, aside from Judas, they expect the kingdom to be restored at that time. Will thou at this time restore the kingdom to Israel? So it's a deception of the devil. Oh, the time is right now. That's why they, they frequently went to, into rebellion. Eh? They want the kingdom to be ushered in. Those were the SNS, okay? Okay, let's move on to the next part of our outline. I hope you clicked all the pictures, Sister Remy. Uh, can anyone read for us? Beverly, Dennis, Menan, Ellie. So, please show re different religions. So close the picture, Sister Berna. So you see there, Buddhism, Archons. Uh, these are <laughs> agnostics, no? Anunnakis, Mayans. So show Buddhism, show other religions, Sister Berna. So that those are the different religions and those are demonology. Why? Demonology, study about demons. Because you have to be Nicolaitan and lukewarm. Did you know that those religions... Aside from Christian denominations, huh? those religions are Laodicea in philosophy, people's right. Oh, let me, allow me in my own belief. I allow you to your own belief. That's also the, our detractor's message, no? Oh, follow what your heart desires you to do. Do not listen to that uh, instruction of a man-made teaching, or Bear Francis or Francis. Do not listen to a man-made teaching of Francis. Follow what your heart dictates you to do. And that's the, every religion, it's deception. The same thing with different denominations within Christendom. Okay, let's move on. Halloween. Okay, next. Anyone? Please be conscious with the outline. Ellie, Marilyn, Conching, Joshua, just So, uh, please show the picture of Halloween. And other Christians knows this. And we should be messaging this. Uh, this Halloween came and went. Uh, what is that? It's a deception. The people don't know. Like Christmas tree. Like the wrong understanding about Christmas. Those are deceptions. Then those are demonology. There's a demon behind those deceptions. And look at the costumes. Okay? How about Labubu? Uh, hello, let's connect Labubu in here in Halloween. Could you play Labubu? That's just a few seconds, right? How many minutes is Labubu? The favorite toy. Do you have problem with playing it? <laughs> with your video? Oh, let's show Disney. If you have problem with Labubu, show Disney. Oh, this is Labubu. Okay, we need some voice. I don't know voice, pala, no voice. I have to explain. But there's something wrong with your player. You know, no voice. I exactly asked for no, no voice. Uh, look at this Labubu, no? But there's something wrong with your... Ah, okay. Uh, their favorite toy craze today. What is happening to the world? They, similar to those... Uh, uh, Sister Berna, close your Halloween, okay? They make light. Uh, this is the maker of Labubu. He admitted he uses demonic uh, deities uh, in making toys. And people who are not Berean are deceived. It's all right. It's all right. I tell you, if you're not Berean, you're Nicolaitan Lukwam. You already have a demon. So these toys are additional demons. It could be the same with Mickey Mouse. Donald Duck, etc. Okay, uh, Brother Joshua, could you show uh, Joshua's 
picture is very clear, no? Okay. Uh, please show Disney. Anyone can show Disney? So, Mickey Mouse, every games, every films. So, rotate that. Those are deceptions. Okay, our time is almost up. Uh, let me summarize the rest of the outline. Uh, close your video, Hoshimani. That uh, only one should show Disney. Okay, uh, give, bring me back to the outline. Progressive, okay. So let me summarize the ghost of Samuel and Christ. The deception is churches say there are no ghosts, there are no real ghosts. That's even the teaching that they have with us. Uh, show the ghosts, okay? You have to move on. Leave the Marvel. <laughs> so, Disney, Marvel, games, kids, shows, cartoons, comics. Those are the last of the world. Okay? Even if they, they're not, uh, no, they don't seem bad to the ordinary pe person. Well, those are the games, okay? I'll just click that, plus Remy. We're summarizing here. Those are deceptions those are part of the study about demons. Is there a demon there? The very basic demon is becoming Nicolaitan lukewarm. But additional demons are those superheroes, okay? The cartoon characters. Those are additional demons. So, uh, th those are deceptions. Those are part of demonology. So, I'm not going to talk about ghosts anymore. We don't have time. Matthew 7 uh have we not done wonderful works let we go to the church right now what about the church uh in the church okay just continue rotating that what is deception in the church you have power to heal the sick you have power to cast out devils but christ said i never knew you ye workers of iniquity why were they in any uh why were they workers of iniquity? Because they were not Berean. They were not after the truth of the word. They were un only using the gifts of God to deceive people, to make money. Did you know that mega churches, they really have definite healings. But they just promote that. Good life healing. Joel Austin, no? if you can show him. Benny Hinn. They're promoting healings. This uh, with Almeda. Wells, that's their promotion. Your problems are solved. Your money problems are solved. Your poverty is solved. That's not real. That that's not the good works Christ was talking about. I sorry sorry, that's the good works they were talking about to Christ. But Christ said, "I never knew you, ye workers of iniquity. You just misrepresented the blessings of God on earth." To be the main blessing. No, the main blessing. Sometimes you are not, uh, no, you're not rich. You're not even cured of your sickness. The main blessing is knowing the truth that will lead you into eternal life. Romans 1.16, the power of salvation, the gospel. That's the ultimate healing. That's the real message. And people are misled that if they, you have uh, supernatural healings, miracles, prosperities, that you're already saved. No. That's why uh, people are deceived. And ministers today are instruments of the devil to deceive other people because their focus is no longer in the progressive truth of the word of God. Their focus is in these healings, in this prosperity, in this problem-solving. Joel Austin's message is about uh, confidence, being confident of yourself. Okay? Uh, just feel good. <laughs> Positive thinking. That's all. So that's lukewarmness. There's another level of uh, demonic deception, demonology deception, which is Nicolaitanism. You may be, uh, could you show pictures of churches? A while ago, you just showed. Uh, let me explain this. This out, uh, this tabulation, huh? the, the green color, Hoshimani. 
There's the physical idolatry, there's the psychological idolatry, there's the spiritual idolatry. The spiritual idolatry, you have a mega church, you have a successful church on earth, on earth. You may have partial truths, but you become Nicolaitan or lukewarm. So you don't progress in further truth. Uh, look at the picture, there are many members, oh, they're revived. If you are not Berean, if the church you, 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 uh, does not bring you to complete being Berean, that's Nicolaitanism in the church. And that's demonology deception. Okay, our time is up. Any more questions? I just summarized it. I'm, I was in a hurry. <laughs> I hope you just ask questions. You just watch this video or just uh, download the pictures there, the outlines, the lists. Okay, then uh, please give us a closing prayer if there's no more question. Barmenan, Bardenis, ah no, Bardenis, can you pray in English? English prayer, Barmenan? Bar please, please give us an English closing prayer. Hello, Barmenan. Okay, let's pray. And Lord, thank you for the opportunity to share. Uh, your your revelation and thank you for those who uh, listen and will listen and uh, thank you for those who help out to to make this broadcast uh, uh, come true and uh, bless brother Francis and our listeners and uh, those who are uh, those who hear this message bless them Lord. This is our prayer in Jesus' name, amen.